Hi, I am Roxana from VP Estate and in this video I will show how to work with the testimonial slider widget in VP Residence team. We included the testimonial slider widget in Beijing demo. This is how it will show. And next I will show the steps that you need to take to add the slider. On this domain I have imported the main demo and I will replace the testimonial widget with the testimonial slider widget. First, I will edit the page with Elementor. I will scroll down to testimonial widget. This is the section that I will change. I will remove the testimonial widgets and leave only one column where I will add the testimonial slider. I will leave only this one. I will look for the testimonial slider. This is the widget that I will add. I will add it with drag and drop. And now I will start adding the testimonial details. In the first field, you will be able to add the person name or the words that will show here. I will add the description of the testimonial. Next, I will add the person name, also the person job. Here I will add the number of stars, I will add the testimonial text and here I will select the person image. I will select an image from media but you can add an image from your device. The first slider setup is done. I will set the second one as well. So I will add the description of the testimonial. I will add here the person name the person job, the number of stars, and I will change the testimonial text. These are the settings made so far. Next, I will set the person image. And the second testimonial is done as well. You can also add new sliders and you can delete unwanted ones. Once you have set up the testimonial slider content, you can go to style section and here you will be able to change the widget design. From title typography, you will be able to change font settings for this section. You can change font family, font size, font weight and make other settings. From content typography, you can change these text settings. So you can change font family, font size and make other settings. In name typography, you will be able to change the name font settings. You will have the same options. And from position typography, you will be able to change the person job text settings. In color section, you will be able to change colors for background, for title, for content and for the position color. In next section arrow style you can set the design of the slider arrows. You can change color, background color, hover color and background color for hover. These two settings can be used to change the color for these two dots. And in box shadow section, you will be able to change shadow settings for the slider. You can change color and make other settings. The design settings are done as well. Now I will save my changes. And this is how the slider will show on front end. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.